So I'm currently in Newgate Bank on the North Yorkshire Moors. Slight drizzle, got my wellies on. The lighting is absolutely wonderful. Now you really do need Wellingtons in a place like this. It's actually a, a bridle path. You can see all the hoof prints. But now and again you come across these bogs and it's probably right would be it. 12 inch deep. So you need wellies. Oh yes. Really are muted colours and tones. So I think it's past Autumnal Peak. And for those who watched Thomas Heaton's recent vlog, something he mentions when you're walking through a place like this, as you can see, it's quite compact. The trees are quite close to each other, which is great for landscape photography. Woodland photography because the light is, is the light is prevented from penetration from penetrating down into the woodland. But now and again, you really do, and uh, sometimes you need a nudge from from photographers to notice things, and you really do. You will. I've just seen one over there, right behind, probably a good hundred meters away. This flash of colour. So you have to go from looking forward because it's not my chosen destination it's a lone tree which is way over there I've been after it for a long long time there is another one which I photographed before just over there but I'm looking to do a long arc background sunsets in four hours so I've got plenty of time to get into the woodlands and to explore oh, lovely little path this Lovely little path. And now and again you see, oh well it's a tiny sapling. Like the one down there if you can see it. So only by a different kind of foliage. Mist would be awesome. I believe there is a way you can work out whether there's going to be mist in a chosen location. Apart from the weather forecast, I'll investigate that because this would be lovely in mist. Now I've not seen anything yet. Let's keep going. Very strange feeling. I'm actually literally getting excited. Thinning out slightly. As I say, it, it, it's not the easiest of locations to photograph. There's a lovely little sapling just in front of me there, but it's a little low down, and there are two trees either side of it which frame it but distract and there's also a, a rather unattractive sapling to the left of it with no foliage on it at all. Keep looking. Yeah, some lovely. Yeah, keep, keep searching. So I've... Uh, uh. So the actual bridle path ended some time ago and I'm into the forest woodland proper. Now I do believe the area further uh, down that way behind the camera is private land. But I've looked on a website which will pop up there um, and I believe I'm just outside the private land. There are no signs, I've not passed any signs. 20 past 1, so 
so sunsets in three hours. Bags of time. Plenty of silver birches in here as well, but there's no way to isolate them. That was one of them. Oh my God, I'm gonna die moment. So I saw yonder tree and it looks a bit special. So I thought, I'll investigate this area around here. Got my wellies on, not a problem. So it's just over, over, over there. Oh, this looks stable. I'm being quite delicate. Put my right foot down. No problem, left foot down, right foot down, started to sink really rapidly and I had my camera on my back, tripod in hand and I'm thinking, <laughs> what do I do? And I just knelt forward and uh, arrested my sink. So, feet are dry, just a uh, quick handheld. Now I rarely use for long lens, at its long side. So I didn't realise how far I'd have to walk back. I was stood around there. <laughs> Walks way back here. Yeah, it works fairly well, I have to say. I've managed to exclude the post, which is just to the right of it. Lovely mist in the background, or rain. So I've just managed to capture, oh, if you can see it, If you can see that, probably not, probably not the best photography. Yeah, so I've just managed to capture the tree with a little clump of bright colour. Yeah, I think I need to take the photograph because there's more mist coming in and the tree is starting to, it's starting to vanish. That's probably going to be it from here. Quarter past three. Sunset at four o'clock. It's not gonna happen, so I'm gonna head home. Awesome day, absolutely awesome day. I've seen two people about three hours ago, three and a half, three and a half hours ago. Not a soul since. I've seen loads of sodding grouse. You gotta stand on them before they bloody fly off. I'll see you next time. Lone trees. I have no idea what it is about lone trees. See ya. So that moment when you realise that you've been walking in the wrong direction for half an hour and that you were 24 minutes away from your car and you are now an hour away from your car in wellies. It's raining and it's getting dark. What a plonker. Anyway, overall, I've enjoyed it. Just gotta get back to care. See ya. <laughs>